I'm Lauren Porter. I'm Anina Kaya. I'm Obisheven Kosinoko, also known as Betty, and we are all second year students uh, doing other nursing. It was our applied skills module which relates to our learning for going out onto the wards. So it was a theory mm -hmm. part of our skills that we did it for. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly on the uh, food, food, food and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I like it because it's easy to use and easy to access. Uh, and also has useful links to different uh, subjects that uh, me as a student nurse is my role to have uh, knowledge in those subjects, should I say. I think it's really engaging because it, you're not just reading pages and pages of text, like there's different, there's like quizzes on and um, links and videos and all sorts, so you're, it's kind of keeping you like, interested in what's yeah. Also, it has a lot of evidence and all subjects discussed very deep. Yeah, it has a lot of links and you can easy to click on mm -hmm. and go to different subjects connected with previous one. Yeah. Yeah, and also all the subjects discussed in terms of population and give you a lot of statistics as well. And the fact that you can access it from home mm -hmm. as well, yeah. you know, online, mm -hmm. and being, you know, illiterate, computer illiterate, <laughs> it's really, really mm -hmm. good, fantastic. Yeah. I have my friend at home, and she was pregnant in the time, and I was accessing next step, and she asked me the questions about uh, nutrition and food and diet of pregnant woman, and I said, it's all right, just sit beside me, I clicked the link, and she did everything exactly what she needed here. And probably in different points, if she asks me the questions, I need to do research in Google stuff nutrition and food in for pregnant woman. But it was all over too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're more likely to remember the things that you've read because it's not just big chunks of text where you're forgetting after you finish the sentence, but it is like um, we had. Well, it's on nutrition, and we had like the eat well plate, which is like the nutrition that people need to take and all the different food types. So that really, I think I really remembered that more than if it was just written down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, it is. Enhanced by knowledge and understanding, as I'm saying that you know, being a student nurse, there are certain subject areas that you you know a little bit, but it goes in depth. And finding myself in placement now at this time on practice placement, it's really good because we are applying that theory into mm -hmm. practice. Because one of um, the side of the placement that I'm now is um, looking after patients who are recovering from stroke. And there is a very, the package, the Z package comes with the information on dysphagia. Mm -hmm. And it's really good because it makes, it brings an awareness of what to do understanding dysphagia better. Like, you know, as a nurse, you should know what risk can that cause. Mm -hmm. Things like dehydration, malnutrition, and, and so many other things. And also, it makes you aware to how to identify and manage dysphagia. So it's a very interesting and fantastic e-learning package. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it. Also, nutrition discussed across all life span is poetal, infant, child, teenager, and adult, adult, and older adult. So it doesn't matter what area of placement you will be in future, you still have a knowledge about nutrition for all lifespan. And also I think it's great. 
it is. I've had a, a friend who's been trying for a family for a very long time, and uh, when things like that, because the big personal people, they just want to try for a family. But with after going through the packet, the evening packet, uh, I realized that you know there's more for preconception care mm -hmm. before that. So I found myself as an, I shouldn't say an advocate or some, you know, to to advise my friend, you know, and stuff like that. Things like uh, because there is a link which takes you to pre-pregnancy counseling, what to do, and all things like. Uh, significant supplements to take such as folic acid and why it's important to take a folic acid to reduce the, so the neural tube difference. Mm -hmm. so, that. Mm -hmm. so I did found myself, you know, into the subject, really mm -hmm. uh, getting interested so that I can advise mm -hmm. it even, even more. So if it wasn't for the Zeti cake, maybe I would have, you know, advised it, but not in that um, deeper understanding because I was so confident because I knew what I was talking about as well because I thought oh well if uh, she disagrees I've got links that will <laughs> yes that will then um, um, guide me through as well mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a lot more engaging and the fact that you can have so many different types of learning on the one resource is really good I think yeah. and the use of video clips as well Sometimes it's interesting, you know, if you're reading stuff all the time, mm -hmm. if you direct to visual, should I say, it makes more sense as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And link is very easy to use. You can click mm -hmm. on the link and so you take it right to the subject. Mm -hmm. If in PowerPoint you need, you need to Google it, put it in Google here, yeah. mm -hmm. not after. Mm -hmm. For the lazy students. Mm -hmm. And it's not <laughs> like PowerPoint, you know, like PowerPoint presentation or like you're sitting and just listening, it's your own learning, you're engaging yourself, yeah. you know, if you need a break, you take a break and you go back into it, so mm -hmm. it, it is a very evident and spacing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my name is David Henry and I'm studying uh, a part-time degree, a BSc in IT at uh, UWS uh, Hamilton campus. I'm Michael McGrote, uh, son of my wife, studying for a part-time BSc in IT at uh, Paisley campus. Tom Duff, um, basically we, as part of our previous course that we did at the UWS in Paisley, um, we had a placement um, with Caplet, this department, um, and it was Tom that had suggested uh, looking into Zerti and what it does and perhaps using it for a project. Uh, we did a, a session with uh, Val, who, Val, Val Norville rather, um, she took us for a morning, spent a couple of hours, uh, introduced us to Zerti, showed us how it worked um, and uh, after that we're off good to go. Well, the, the project we, we were using it for was uh, uh, to introduce or, or promote the use of Twitter within the faculty staff. Um, something that, that Tom was keen that we did and uh, we uh, followed a, a kind of a template that we'd done before which was 10 days of Twitter. Uh, we did 12 days of Twitter because it was Christmas so we made it 12 days. Uh, David um, was particularly good at uh, the technical aspects of uh, the different types of pages and things we used, so it, it worked out quite well between us. Yeah, we basically used Zerti to um, create the, the 12 Days of Christmas Twitter project um, for staff, basically. Yeah, there was a couple of specific um, page types that we used. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the page, but um, it basically allowed us to put um, more information um, on tabs on the same page in effect. So basically for each day of the 12 days we had a separate tab um, that you could just click on and access. It was 
again, very easy to set up and, and use through Zero And uh, as the, the project um, developed, uh, we were able to quickly go in and, and change and edit things uh, as as we were reacting to, to the feedback we were getting. So from that point of view, it was quite... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It was just easy to change. Um, things that we perhaps thought would have happened didn't, so we were able to change the content, which is quite good when, when working with a, a live uh, project. It's very accessible because it's online, um, and like Michael was saying, that allows you to go in and update it as and when you need to. It's a good feature of safety. I personally found um, Zerti very easy and straightforward to use. Um, it allowed you to create something um, without going to, having to go through um, lots and lots and lots of steps. Everything was clear and concise and let's see the best kind of phrase is very easy to use. Also quite easy to customise to, to change the appearance to to what you wanted it to be um, so that it doesn't just look the same as everybody else's. PowerPoint display and whatnot. And again, once you've created a project, it's very easy to go back to, um, to edit things and to, to change things, add things in, video, sound, pictures. It's, it's a very good package. Basically, because you can do a, use a variety of, of different ways to present uh, your, your project, so it, it's less like to get bored with the, the same thing repetitively over and over and over again. Um, and the fact that you can import uh, all sorts of other media. Uh, so, it, you know, you can have diagrams for some things, video for another, audio for another. They're just overall great package. It allows you to create a project that um, is interactive. Um, it allows the, the user that's viewing it to interact with the different media that you've included in it. First thing to do, play with it for a couple of hours. Just try every tab. Uh, everything will give you a result. Uh, it's, it's not like uh, some applications where like, you try something, it doesn't work, nothing happens. You won't see a result. Was there to you always get a result. Might not be what you want, but at least you'll have something. Yeah, experiment with it is definitely a good idea, I would say. It's, it's very easy to, to make something and then change it if you don't like it. Um, it's straightforward to... You know, Another thing that's good is, is, once you've created something, you can decide whether you share it or not. So you can, you can you know, create something. Uh, David and I are now different campuses, so I can do something uh, and then he can go in and change it without us having to both be in the same place. So you just have to allow it to be shared.